Okay, before I start today's Batacera and PS Vita setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see, stay hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at Batacera PS Vita Vita 3K today. So this one's a little bit fiddly, but I'm going to get you there. So what we're going to need to do first is look at games. So the games you want for this need to be in .zip file extension. And I also urge you to get May Dumps, that's M-A-I. Now, if we go over to the Batacera wiki, we're going to find just here exactly what we need. So in terms of BIOS, we're going to need a couple more BIOS files. So I'm going to leave the link in my description for this. So if we click on PS Vita base system software, that's going to bring us over to the official PlayStation website. You can download the update just here, and this is currently version 3.74. So just download that one, and if we come back out, we also need a PS Vita system update download just here. So just left click on this one, and in my case, it's saying it can't be downloaded securely. So if this is your issue as well, just left click on the dots, go to keep, and keep anyway, and that will then download. So going back to the games, if we just scroll downwards on this wiki, it will say right just here, May Dump. Probably the most bootleg approach. Titles have been individually patched to make them bootable. So for that reason, I urge you to go for the May Dump. VPK games also work, but by the seams of things, May Dumps are the easiest way around this. So once you get your May Dumps, I'm going to just give you a very quick example how to set these up for Batsera to read them. So for example, I've got 10 second Ninja X just here. This downloaded as a RAW file or an archive. So inside we got 10 second ninja folder if we just go inside of this one What I need to do is drag this out and just make a note that all games in Batacera needs the serial number on as you can see just here This one's PCSE00890 What we need to do next then is actually give this a name so if I right click on this one and if I go to show more options and rename I'm going to use my arrow keys in a um, spacebar. So if I just type in 10 seconds ninja. X. And I just need to ensure there's a space between the X and the serial number. Which it looks like there is. If that's a problem then once we're inside Batacera we can easily edit the file to make sure it's working correctly or edited correctly. If we go over to the Batacera wiki page again, it's actually got a link here to go to the compatibility list. So if we just left click on compatibility list on Vita 3K page, this is everything which is working with Vita 3K as a recording this video and it's a work in progress so games get updated all the time. If we look at playable, 57.59% of the Vita library is fully playable Vita 3K. If we just go to the top and select playable, 12, 18 games are all playable, which means they're pretty much 100%. So what I've done in this case is I've looked for my games, which I've got, 10 Second Ninja X, and the title ID or serial number, which I'm referring to as, is the same as the ones I've downloaded. So just make sure your title ID is listed under the compatibility list. And of course, if you want 100%, then go for playable. We also got in-game, which is 339 games. Now, what in-game means is that your game is going to be playable up until a certain point. So if you really want the full experience, 100% playability, then select playable and you'll find a whole list of games there. So there's really good titles in the playable list. So what we're going to do next is just plug in a USB drive in order to transfer the BIOS files and the games onto so we can put them into Batacera. If we go into the games folder, I've got two games here. Now you'll notice that the Badland game has got brackets around the title ID or serial number. So just need to make sure that 10 Second Ninja has this well. So if I just right click on it, show more options, rename, and I'm going to make sure those brackets which I'm just typing in are on there otherwise it's not going to work and I also need to make sure 
that is spaced correctly. So one space in between X and PCSE, the title ID. And just remember, if you boot up Batacera and you realize that this isn't done correctly, like I've got just here, then you can actually edit it inside the Batacera itself. So I've got my game folder just here. And what I'm going to do is just drag and drop it onto my external drive. I've also got a BIOS folder. If I just drag and drop that one too. And if I go into the BIOS folder, this is, these are the two BIOS files that you're going to need. So they look very similar. PSP2 up that dot pup. And the other one is PSV up that dot pup. So very similar, only the top one just here has a digit 2 in. So what I'm going to do next then is close down my computer and boot up Batacera. Okay, so we just booted up Batacera and I've attached my external hard drive with the BIOS files as well as the games on there. So from here, what we're going to need to do is press the F1 key. Next thing we're going to want to do is go over to the left hand side and we're going to click on the BIOS folder. Now just here, what we're going to do is create a new folder in here. So if I right click and then left click on create new or just go over to folder and left click on that one. What I'm going to do is enter in a new name for this folder and I'm going to call it PS Vita. If I then go down to OK, what we're going to do next is head over to the external drive. So for me, this has come up as new volume. If I go into my external drive, I'm going to find my Batacera folder just here. And here it is. Now, if I go inside of there, I'm going to go into the BIOS folder and my PS p 2 up that dot pup and psv up that dot pup bios files are both here if i highlight both of these right click copy i'm going to go back to the bios folder and i'm going to go into that ps vita folder that i just created if i go in there right click paste and both of those bios files are now going to paste into the correct location Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is just go into the ROMs folder and from here we're going to find PSV. If we go inside of there, there's an info.txt. If you double left click on this one, it's going to give you more information just here. So if you struggle at any point during this tutorial, you can simply read it just here. It's pretty simple. Okay, so once you finish reading this, if that's what you need, just go up to file in the top left hand side and go down to quit. Next thing we're going to do on the left hand side, you're going to find applications. If we go into applications, you're going to find a shortcut here. It says Vita 3K MU config. Just double left click on this one. And here you go. This is going to open up Vita 3K. This is the initial setup for the emulator itself. So select a language. I'm going to obviously select English United Kingdom and go to next. Current emulator path, I'm going to leave this to default. I'm going to go to next. So what we're going to do is just go down to install firmware file. And from here, it's just a case of going into your share. And then from here, we're going to go into the BIOS folder. And we're going to find that PS Vita folder that we created. If we go in there. Now we're going to install the PSP to up that dot pup first. So double left click. And we're going to check, delete the firmware installation file. You don't have to uncheck or check this. Okay, so firmware successfully installed. What I'm going to do is just go down to OK. Next thing I'm going to do is go back to install firmware file. I'm going to go back to share on the left hand side of this window. Back into the BIOS folder. Down to the PS Vita folder again. And this time I'm going to install the PSV up that dot pup. Double left click. OK. Now once that's done, we're just going to go down to OK. We're going to go to next. Next thing you're going to see is select interface settings. So this is entirely up to you how you want to make Vita 3K present itself. But we can actually do that once we're inside the emulator itself. But for now, we're just going to go to next. You have now completed initial setup. So we're going to press OK. And here we go. So we got a select user welcome to Vita 3K. If we uncheck show next time on the bottom left hand side, so that will avoid us seeing this every time we launch it. We're going to go to close, create user, and I'm going to backspace user one and type in a username for this. So just Jamie in my case, go to confirm. Okay. 
And if I then go into my user profile, just Jamie, or we can go to automatic user login. Just Jamie, and here we go. So we got new games installed at the moment. What we're going to need to do then is actually install those .zip games. Okay, so we're gonna go to file, down to install.zip.vpk, select file, and from here, I'm gonna find my Vita games. So I'm gonna to go to my new volume external drive into my Batacera folder, into my games folder, and I'm gonna select Badlands Game of the Year Edition. Double left click. Okay, once that's been installed, we're gonna press OK. And here we go at the bottom just here, we can now see my Badlands game. If I left click on that one, I can boot up the game from here just by left clicking on start. Now PS Vita games run from a shader system, so generally on your first boot of the game, the first playthrough, you'll find at the bottom left hand corner shaders. Games are going to appear laggy initially, but normally on your second boot, it should work fine. Okay, so to come out of that, I just press Alt in Tab on my keyboard, and that's just exited out of the game, just like this. And I'm just going to mention, for any reason whatsoever, you might want to delete your games and you're not sure where they are. If you go to your share folder, and from your share folder, go to saves folder. If we go inside of there, we're going to find a PS Vita folder. Go inside of there, and UX0, and inside UX0, you're going to find an app folder. This is a game that I've just installed. So if you want to delete... This is where you find them. So really, it's just a case of right clicking on the game itself, move to trash, and then delete everything from there. So next thing we're going to want to do is go up to file, and we're going to go to close window. This is going to bring us back into Batsera. Now we're unlikely going to find PS Vita just here, even if we refresh by going to main menu, game settings, and update game lists. So there's absolutely no PS Vita listed here whatsoever. So to do this, we're going to press F1. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is just go to the games themselves. So they're still on my external drive. So new volume, I'm going to go into my Batacera folder, into my games folder. And I want to display in Batacera Badlands Game of the Year. So if I right click on that file, I'm going to just go down to rename, left click on rename. And if I right click on the title and the title ID or serial number, which is highlighted in blue, just go down to copy, then cancel out of this. Next thing I'm going to need to do is go to ROMs on the left hand side panel. And then I'm going to find the PS Vita folder just here. Double left click. I'm going to right click anywhere inside of this field. And I'm going to go to create new empty file. And if I press control and V, that's now pasted in, which we just copied. I'm then going to press dot on my keyboard and type in PS Vita. And once that's done, I'm going to go to OK and go up the file, close window. Now, if we scroll through Batacera, we still can't see PS Vita display. So I'm going to press space on my keyboard, main menu. I'm going to go to game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go, we got PS Vita. So if I go inside the PS Vita, here is my game. So we're obviously going to want to download some artwork for this. So I'm going to press spacebar, which brings up main menu. Or if you're using a conventional controller, that's going to be a start button. If I go down to scraper, scraper settings, just going to make sure all my settings for screen scraper are turned on and my username and password is entered. Systems included. I'm going to just make sure here PlayStation Vita is selected. I can then go down to scrape now and that should then start downloading some artwork for your games. Go up to game settings, update game list and yes. And here we go, we now got artwork. Okay, so we can access our game obviously from Batacera. And here we go, we're straight in.
Okay, now you can exit your game just by pressing your hot buttons. Now what we can do is go into view options, advanced system options, and from here you're gonna find lots of different options in order to make your games look better. So for example, if we go down to render and resolution, by auto, this is gonna be one times or 960 by 544. We can increase this up to eight times. Just bear in mind, if you've got a lower end computer, games are gonna lag. And in fact, some games might not boot at all if you put this onto the highest settings. So around two times, three times would likely be your best bet, providing your computer can handle it. We also got V-Sync. This is gonna reduce screen tear, like it says. Just make sure this is enabled for the best experience. We also got an option here, which says FXAA. So this is anti-aliasing. And what this is going to do is smooth out jagged edges. So games such as Street Fighter games, which has got lots of pixelation, uh, by enabling this one, that's going to reduce that pixelation or jagged edges. If we go down to anastrophic filtering, what this is going to do by increasing this up to 16 times, it's going to define textures in the game. So just be very cautious by putting this up to 16 times. Some games might not look right. Now we also got power modes here. If we go inside a power mode, if you've got a lower end computer and you're trying to run Vita games, then I suggest going down to power saver or even balanced. If you've got a higher end computer, leave it onto auto or select high performance. If you don't see any visuals at all, just go down to Graphics API and switch over to Vulkan. Now, if you've got particular games which don't scrape any artwork at all, just hold on to the A button, so you've got Xbox controller, or on the keyboard, I'm pressing the Enter button. Hold that down for a few seconds. From here, you can just go down to Edit This Game's Metadata, and if we go to Name, let's just pretend this has got lots of numbers and letters on it. If you just edit that, and then tick, if you then go down to save, if we then press enter again to bring up this game, we go down to scrape, that should then pick out lots of different artworks for a particular game. So we got two for this one. And then it's just a case of scraping the artwork. And that's it then for today's Batacera and PS Vita Vita 3K emulation setup guide. So I mentioned at the start of the video, this is for Windows PC. If you're using any other device which also supports Vita through Batacera, then I'd probably say there's a good chance that this guide's also going to cater for whichever device it is you're using. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. And just remember, I've covered Batacera a lot on my channel. What I'm going to do is pin in the direct link to my Batacera playlist. And if you want to experiment with different front ends, then be sure to check out my various different playlists from things such as Retro Arch to Retro Bat and standalone emulator setup. Guys, I also do a lot of gameplay videos, especially homebrew. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.